my name is Dario Valenza. I'm the founder of Carbonics. Yeah, so BVLOS stands for Beyond Visual Line of Sight. Um, it's a bit like the drone equivalent of flying uh, IFR. So in general aviation, you've got visual flight rules and instrument flight rules. Uh, visual flight rules is when you can see out the window and instrument fly, flying rules is when you're relying on your instruments because it may be night time or the weather might be bad. So it means uh, when you can fly the drone beyond just where you can see when you're standing on the ground. So we have a, what, we, what we call an operational volume that's been approved uh, and it's uh, around uh, Richmond. This is the Volante or the, the, the smaller of the two carbonics aircraft. Uh, it's an all-electric 15 kilo uh, maximum takeoff weight aircraft. Uh, it can carry about one kilo for about two hours. Uh, and it's generally used for uh, inspections, uh, so survey surveying and surveillance. Um, power lines mainly, also pipelines, other kinds of linear infrastructure. Uh, the idea is to basically take very accurate high resolution imagery of uh, assets uh, and extract uh, information that's useful for maintenance of those assets. Originally they were made, uh, developed and uh, built in Artaman. Uh, we're now on the quick step stand here at Avalon. Uh, Quickstep has taken over the composite manufacturing of the airframes in order to scale. Particularly watch how uh, drones have matured into something that's now, I'll say being taken seriously, but certainly something that has uh, useful applications that are starting to emerge. Uh, and we're really sort of at the forefront of that in the aerial inspection area, uh, flying long missions. It's really about the distance. Uh, in order to get the, I guess, value out of drones, you really need to unlock that ability to fly long distances and there are two components to that. There's the capability of the aircraft, which again we've worked very hard on to be able to fly that two, two hours or in the petrol version up to eight hours. Uh, and also there's a regulatory side where you need to be able to get permission to do that. It means that we can actually now, uh, so to speak, uh, unleash the aircraft, uh, actually use all of the range that we built into it and be able to do in a single flight uh, several kilometres of infrastructure inspections uh, which makes it a lot more efficient and it doesn't require you know, relocating and moving around. You can just take off from one spot, do your mission, come back, get the data and do something useful with it.